Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing today's problem, which is 20. Wow, day 28 of the Lead Code Daily Challenge. Uh, let's get started. Task schedule is today's task. Uh, you're given a character array with CPU. Do, do, do. It contains capital A to Z, where each letter is a different task. Uh, task can be done without the original order of the way. Each task takes one unit of time, and for each unit of time, CPU could complete either one task or just be idle. Uh, however, there's a non-negative N that represents the cooldown between two of the same task, and that it must be at least N unit of time between any two same tasks. You must return the least number of unit of time that the CPU will take to finish all the given tasks. Okay. So that feels like it's going to be some sort of greedy. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, constraint is n is equal to ten thousand, and each um, and the cooldown period is uh, up to a hundred, right? So, hmm, it still feels like it's going to be greedy, and that you always want to choose the one that um, has the most appearance first, and then just figure it out. I think the other example, and then just either simulate uh, because if you simulate this, it's just at most a hundred times ten thousand. So I think I'm going to do that, and yeah, so basically what I would do is I just have a queue um, of length n, and then as things get pushed in, we maybe store it in a set or something so that we don't, we cannot choose that again, and then as it goes out, we push it back on the thing, uh, and also to make it slightly faster, we could use a heap, uh, but yeah, okay, let's go. Uh, so let's say we have a heap and we want a max heap because we want to get the thing that appears the most. Uh, how about tiebreaker? Let's say A and B have the most same number, then I guess it doesn't really matter which order you go. So, okay. So with that, let's get started. Uh, and then we just have to collect all the, basically we just have to count this, which, which should be easy. Uh, I'm going to be a lazy, little bit easy, uh, lazy today. Um, just in Python, there's a thing called collections that counter, which takes every item and then it's, it's just a hash table mapping um, each item and the count of that item. So, okay. So then now, let's say we have a queue uh, and we want this queue to have, um, let's just say empty string times a cooldown. It may be off by one. Um, okay, so I have to have two in between. Uh, okay, so actually maybe it should be okay. Yeah, and then now let, let's put everything in the heap. So we want a max heap. Okay, so that means for key encounter, or I could just do it items, and uh, then key, and then the count, uh, and then we want to put it in heap. Mm. Uh, let's see, we want to put the count and then the key but because we want it to be a max heap we just uh, invert it okay and then now we can do while oh and we have a set of uh forbidden maybe for bit put up front yeah and then now let's let's do it for heap then and that means that we still have items to do. Um, yeah, may, maybe maybe that would have to change because I'm just thinking about some edge cases. But yeah, now we just get the top, which is the count, which is okay. Uh, so count, and then the the task key is you go to. Um, oh yeah, we have to change. We have to keep track of the time. So let's just say time is equal to zero. Um, and this is heap dot zero heap q dot heap pop. Okay, so then now, what happens right after we pop? So that means that our well, first of all, our time increments, and then we let, let's oh, and actually we want to change this to a, a deck so that we could be moved from the front. Uh, and this is probably like a little bit inefficient, but I want to just do it this way uh, but yeah pop left and well first before that let's push this into the queue uh, the key into the queue and then we also pop left and uh, let's just say popped 
and then if pop is not equal to square then we will um oh that's actually also um hmm, calendar of key decrement uh one right and then now if pop is not equal to whatever then we then we push the push the count back into the heap uh, negative uh, counter of uh, popped and popped I think that's mostly okay but there's a couple of I have to change this which is that uh, heap may actually be so in this case heap may actually be zero right uh before you it terminates so that's actually not quite right so let, let me think about how to get um counter so okay so okay we only do this if it's uh greater than zero so yeah if counter dot popped is greater than zero I guess we could just do this in then. And then now we just have to keep track of how many things we actually think. Maybe that would be good enough. Uh, which is items, say, is equal to uh, length of tasks. So then while item is equal to zero, uh, and then now we have to check if length of heap is greater than zero, we do this thing. Uh, it, but what if it's zero? If it's zero, then key is equal to, we don't use count, so let's get rid of it. Key is equal to just the empty thingy, um, and else. So then we push the empty string there, and that's the same as just idle. Uh, it may not be that efficient. We, we could probably look ahead, but that's, just want to keep it straight. Uh, and anytime we, you know, we uh, minus one from here, let's play around with that and see whether that's fast enough or whether that at least give us the right answer and then if we need then we'll talk about fastness um, actually, I got a one time error but let's see uh, ooh, I think it's a pen I was I don't know what I was thinking of probably another language uh, index hour of, hmm Oh, yeah, of course. So this only happens when we, you know, when we, when there's actually an item on the heap. Okay, so that looks good. Um, yeah, let's submit it because I'm trying to think about some edge cases and I think that should be okay. Uh, but maybe another edge case would be this, but with a ridiculous um, N. And then the only thing that we could test and you know, if you have time, and that looks good. If you have time, I would maybe test the uh, ten thousand characters and the same character and then one end case. But uh, but in the interest of time, I'm just going to click and submit, and I'm sure that's one of the test cases, right? Because that's very basic. So yeah, so it, it got accepted. So that that's cool. Uh, so what is the running time of this? The running time of this is um, the cooldown times n uh, at most. And since cooldown is at most 100, so you can maybe say it's linear, even though it's not linear in a good way. Uh, and there's some optimizations you can do. You can, um, if leap is equal to zero, you can maybe fast forward in some way, uh, which, you know, I'll leave it to you to upsolve. But otherwise, that it, you know, the number of time is basically based off the number of tasks times the code um, in the worst case. Uh, in terms of space, it's just linear because we use five or six item, uh, items to uh, for each um, for each task, but it's still linear. So yeah, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.